So the other day I did a video about the three components of our multi-senders and I talked about the spring being an important component and the fact that a Blake's hitch or any friction hitch has spring in it. And I was playing with a couple pieces of cordage and just thought I would make an observation. How do you measure the spring action in cordage? It's easy enough to do with a mechanical. You flip it and see if it's working right and if it's not broken or if it's broken or if it needs to be lubricated or whatever. But um, this is a couple different types of cordage and take the cordage that you might be using for a friction hitch. And if you put some twist in it, if I take this and I wind it up like this, that other end is going to um, twist as well. So I'll do a few turns like that. And then I'll hold this end where that um, twisting was taking place. Now I'll untwist that and see what it feels like. See the twists that are in there? And when you let go of that, it kind of pops back. But it's not a real small, it's not a real strong tension. So now I take this other cordage that's, this is like a hollow braid. And I take this other cordage that is a type of a double braid. And I'll do the same thing with that. I'll put the twist in there. And again, those ends down there, they're doing their twisting thing. And I'm like taking the spring and I'm winding the spring up. And so now, once we've wound the spring up, we're gonna see what kind of tension that spring has. And when I unwound, unwind this one, it is really hard to unwind. In fact, it won't unwind. So if, if I was counting on this as a friction hitch, it would be great, assuming the material was correct, but it'd be great for putting tension on that on that climbing line because it's going to have it's going to have some tension in there just anyway i just thought that was kind of an interesting observation as people are trying to select the type of uh, cordage that one might want to use for a friction hitch thanks for watching